Yo video, what's going on? Just in time flipping, how's it going? Long time no see, what's going on? Uh, here we go with a video. Uh, it was, the video was asked for, so if you ask, you shall receive, as always. Uh, it was a, uh, asked for a pre-Brimfield 2024 video. Um, so here we go, here's kind of the operation, what's going on for this year. Um, I'll try my best as always. Uh, I've been avidly looking for things. I do uh, hoard things. So um, let's uh, go through the video. Here we go. Show you some things. All right. Here's currently the room I've been keeping everything in that kind of came in. Um, there's some, maybe like five or ten boxes I've already gone through before that you've probably already seen um but yeah a bunch of boxes different things uh, it's like a pile of art back there so it's probably like a hundred probably like a hundred pieces of art like over there um and just boxes of different things back there uh i mean you can't see anything all in boxes so i'm gonna i'm gonna start to kind of go through some of this stuff i don't really even know what's in there to be honest with you um he, here's all the rugs that i've been getting through the uh past i don't know five months there's a green one there here's my blanket i'm getting rid of that here's uh the rug more rugs different rugs 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 more rugs, rugs, and a couple other rugs, and some rugs here. There's one there. And then there's another stack right in front of that. There's one there, a couple in the van. Um, so we have that going for us. Uh, I've been using this one. So this is kind of my theme for rugs. Uh, you know, small one's nice for guitar you know you put your gear on it uh, so that's going to be my pitch for that some of that stuff uh, we got this thing going this receiver you know pioneer essex 450 this baogram that we didn't sell from last time uh, got these nice speakers here uh, don't mind my trash pile uh, some random it's like just like random stones and like pottery and stuff. I just put my bags. Just random chunks of like different old pieces of pottery and stuff like that. This TV, that TV. Yeah, we'll bring a couple TVs. Um, probably gonna bring this couch. Probably ain't gonna hurt to bring it um, with the chairs. There's a couple of the chairs. I got a couple of the chairs for that. Um, what are we bringing? We're bringing these couple items here. I might bring all these. This like soda bottle display. I might bring that. Uh, we'll bring a couple guns. Get rid of those. Uh, we got this clock that we didn't sell last time. I'll bring that. Still try to bring this piano, but I've been using that. I kind of like that, so might not let that go for super cheap. Um, this amplifier, we're gonna sell that. Do I need this amplifier? Not really. Um, yeah, it's good to have another one, but I'm undecided on that one. I'm gonna try and sell these two guitars. His uh, a couple of guitars I picked up through the winter. So I'm going to try to sell these. So nice PV. Uh, SC3. Pretty sweet. With the case. And this. Uh, I've played these, these are good 
this Ibanez. Uh, figure out what model that is. Uh, I have a nice Guild uh, acoustic 12 string in the van that I got yesterday with a couple violins. Uh, we got all these canes going. All the glass canes. And what else am I taking down here? All these pieces of art. I've just been hanging them to get them damaged. Uh, we'll take, maybe we'll take the snake. Oh, uh, we'll take this banjo. It's a 1920 banjo. Nice piece. Do, uh, do, 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 uh, Boxes of, I don't know, something. Maybe we'll take that. I don't know. Undecided. This is all jewelry making stuff. This whole stack. Probably take that. Uh, oh, the junkyard dog. Junkyard dog is off his leash. Uh, off his leash. Uh, more jewelry. We'll take that. This is a nice um, <clears throat> practical lamp there. Uh, these are all bins undecided on the bins and then we'll go over here and see what we're gonna take from the ebay store uh, we'll take uh, pretty much half of what's up here um so a couple cars uh these are all rings and then i have like a huge tub of rings we'll take um is that we'll go over here some things whatever's here we'll take <laughs> uh, yeah we'll take these oscillation scopes i got three of them so you gotta start getting rid of those uh, i might take this stuff and some high-end audio gear to fit the theme with the other Audio gear. Uh, that's a nice firkin. Might maybe take that. Some other electronics. Maybe we'll take some hubcaps. Maybe we'll take. Uh, uh, this is my paper bin. So we'll take all that. It's pretty much just loaded with uh, paper that just random stuff, random paper, big paper. So we'll take that thing. It's kind of in the little floor right now. And I don't know, we'll just take whatever catches my eye and some of these things that I'm like, oh yeah, that would look good on a display or something or I can move it or we'll give it a shot maybe take this lens meter that's kind of cool on a table two huge ba uh, brass propellers I bought last show we'll probably take those um, a couple like antique -y things that I think I'm just gonna part ways with Stuff like that. I'll probably take that truck. We'll probably take this. A um, couple other audio things. Maybe some of these cases. Stuff like that. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, I took trains last time. <clears throat> well, one show. I didn't sell any. Uh, Kind of beat up on those too, um, so I probably probably will leave some things like that. Maybe take a couple tools out of these areas. Uh, I mean, I could take these cars, but these been doing okay online. I've broke about two of these so far, but two out of like I don't know twelve. So I'll probably break another two out of all that. So we'll probably just ship them. And that's about it in here. 
I mean, there's some odds and ends. This is kind of like a hoarding area. Some things we'll take from there. Um, it's about it. It's about it from there. And we'll carry on and do another room. All right, here's kind of like the bigger things I was going to take. So I have this piano we're going to take. It's got a nice stool somewhere. Where's the stool? Right here. So we'll take that. This china cabinet, like a china uh, apothecary. We'll take this. This is like a, I don't know, 100 drawer. Pretty sweet. I just showed you guys this a little bit. Pretty sweet. We'll take that thing for display. Probably take the camera. We'll take this thing, this big, huge cabinet. And look at this lamp. The scale. And we'll go through a couple more other things. All right, continuation, because when I did the other video, most of the stuff was jammed in the room that I was trying to show you, and I'm still going through boxes of things that are all, like, you know, small things and stuff like that. There's still decent things that we are finding that we had from before. Nice postcards, all these cards. I didn't get around to selling those, so we still have the, that stuff. Um, here's a portion of some of the art. Some of it's pretty decent, some of it's totally not. Uh, I moved probably 50 to 100 pieces to the mill, uh, my mill booth, and I priced them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna price all this stuff I'll take it to that mill. So everyone at that mill is going to get the shot at all this art first. And then I'm going to take all that art and I'm going to bring it to Brimfield because it's going to be tagged. And then I'm going to put it back into that mill. So it's just going to give me a way to process some of it uh, to make it easier for me and easier for the buyers. So they know what they're going to kind of pay for stuff. Um, I don't want to just price all the art at $20 each and just give everything away. I kind of want to look at it like this is a pretty darn good piece. Um, cause if no one's going to pay me anything more than, if no one's going to pay me 50 bucks for that, then I'm keeping it <laughs> cause it's good. What do I price it? 68 bucks. So, you know, being, I'm being fair it's 16 of 100 that is hand drawn um it's it's uh you know some of the stuff's pretty darn good you know it's, it's not junk so that's just an example uh <laughs> there's some other little small ones that i thought were cool like this one like that's cool that didn't sell last time because i tagged it before i left and some of these i tagged before i left it put 35 on it from 1975 it's dated and marked and somebody made that that's i mean how long is it gonna take you to make that three weeks all right then that's worth <laughs> that's worth uh 35 or whatever the hell i put on it you know that's how i do some of my math like if i, if I can't make that or think that i could make it like i can't draw that i could not paint that that's nice it was probably worth more than 35 so you know some of the stuff i didn't put it online i'll show you one that i did put online um just as an example uh if that one sold in this week i would probably really start considering to put some more of this art online so there's a small tidbit talk about all that um i did walk through some of this stuff 
but a lot of it was jammed too. Sorry if I have a shaky hand because I'm still like recovering off that estate sale. I talk about it in a bit. So he has the um, so he has some Robux chairs. There's four of those chairs and a couch downstairs. We will probably take those. He has those two huge chargers. It's the one that I got at Brimfield right before I left uh, for ten dollars. Yes, and then there's the other one that I got. That was from a friend. Friend sold me that for ten bucks. He is very nice. Um, and this one is is beyond nice. It's like super duper etched. That's some. All these birds are different too. They're just etched differently. I we we looked at it for a while. So it's it's got some um, like nudity uh, scene in the middle. It's like. A little risque scene in the middle that's all etched so can't really show it to you fully uh here's some lucite panels there's three of them there um yeah you can let me know what you think i should charge on any of this if you want me to give it away to you, you can let me know what you think i should charge for any of this but i know my numbers and I mean, we can go back and forth all day. Who cares? I mean, I, this stuff needs homes too. So look at my look at my living room. You know, stuff needs homes. Like my whole little corner of my living room's like jambozied with the with the good stuff. So here's some of those chairs again. Here's a little mid century lamp I found in a dumpster. Here's a nice hall tree. Do, 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 do. My hand's still shaky. Shaky, shaky. I gotta rebuild that a little bit. Uh, there was some decent furniture at that estate sale, too. Could have grabbed some, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, a couple little, like, shitty end tables. Uh, uh, stack of rugs. Uh, stack of rugs. Rugs for days. Rugs, 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 rugs. Uh, canes for days. All kinds of canes. Canes for days. Uh, cabinet there. Some hats, this uh, old like um, pottery chunks from some really old piece of pottery, some textile stuff, roll. Yeah, make quick videos. You only get a couple seconds of it. Uh, it's a nice mid-century modern lamp. I think the last time I did this video, the lighting kind of sucked. Uh, there is the scale. There's a couple clocks back there. And let me bring the camera. A couple other things there. All those ties. There's some electronics over here. A nice stool. Uh, these are nice. All these music box um, pots. That thing's full. Those are expensive. We got violins. Uh, we got some guitars. I showed you those. Uh, Burkowski's guitar. I'll send him freaking a check in the mail. Uh, a couple other items here. The boat from Alamo. A nice uh, mid-century modern retro TV. I'll take this one picture. I, I wouldn't really want to give that one up, but... There's a couple other ones over here that I'll take, but I don't really want to give them up. They'll be kind of priced pretty high because I'm just going to go back to the same spots. This one, too. This one, I'll take it, but it's like I'm not really, like, expecting to sell it. If I do sell it, then I sell it, and then I'll just find another piece that will go there. But it's a nice piece, so, eh. I don't like leaving too much money on the wall. But you do what you got to do. Um... Here's another rug that I might take. I mean, I'm enjoying this one. It's massive. Fills up the whole living room. It goes all the way to the other end of the living room. So, um, I mean, that's kind of nice. But the problem is, is see how there's a little hump right here? A little humper dink? I don't know if you notice a little humper dink in there. But there's a little humper dink in there because there's like three more, five more rugs underneath there. So I got to get those out of there. So, hey, what can you do? That's that's how I stored them. I was like, oh, I got a best 
storing idea for all my rugs. I can just keep stacking them in the living room. <laughs> That's not going to really work, but it worked for a little while. Uh, um, let's go downstairs and see what we've been doing down there again. Let me know what's going on down here. Uh, I'm cleaning. I keep it fresh. I keep it fresh. Um, yeah, so we got to pull out like, more rugs. Obviously, I pulled out the ones that you saw from the video there. Uh, we got some scandalous stuff, so we'll try to block that out there. Uh, but I took out this... <laughs> that was just that one corner of art. It was like nearly 200 pieces. There's probably another 100 pieces on the other side of that. In some kind of orderly fashion, you can't touch this thing or it'll go into like a wave. Um, and then there's just stuff back here. More stuff different boxes of things some class I was trying to see if I could just grab something that was kind of cool I can't reach anything oh my god there's like another like 50 pieces of art over there Jesus um, yeah so that's that I'm still trying to pull this room apart oh yeah, pull that room apart, bring all that art into that mill spot. That way it'll be easier for me to pull that, bring it to that show. Same thing, get these carpets upstairs. It'll save me just one trip. Um, and then just be able to start processing these boxes. These boxes in here have been real bothersome. There's a couple other pieces that we'll take. This thing. Put a couple of the nicer ones on the wall. That thing is pretty gnarly. This thing. This one is kind of odd. That one is kind of cool. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's nice. It's like a silk. It's too low. Uh, yeah, we got the banjo, the snake, showed you that already, what did I pull out, let's see what I pulled out, mm, it's a thing of watches here, I don't know why it's in this particular case, but a bunch of watches, there's another box of watches right there, I'm actually finding quite a bit of watches through the winter, surprisingly, it's like, one thing that was a little plentiful, um, little box of machinist tools here not much but there's maybe one other box somewhere and a little bit of paint, painting so this is the painting that I listed I listed it for uh $399.99 I've seen some others sell like for I don't know 250 300 we'll see how it does um, had this one for a while. I had this on my mantle, and maybe because I knew it was probably decent. I never looked it up. I had it for a while. Um, so yeah, there's that. Some information. You want to do a little research yourself. And yeah, it's a nice piece. It's in good shape. It's a miniature. Apparently, these do pretty well. So uh, I listed it. I said, "Frick it, small. Might as well." It's another cool piece that I found that was in a. Surprisingly, in a state sale, I did go to another state sale like a week ago. Um, just been trying to get back into it a little bit. So, let's see, uh, bicycle wrench. It's kind of the coolest, coolest thing that I found in there. Uh, it's usually only cool if you pay a dollar for something too. So I paid a dollar for this, like in a little like pile of tools. Uh, it might sell. I sent an offer for it for uh, one twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, someone else has one of these. Just one guy. Uh, he's asking 100 for his. Mine's got the original case. So I put another 30 bucks on it. It's a nice piece. It's got a knife, a file, and like a like a hole patch, like puncher. That was kind of cool. So it was in that one house. Uh, nice little cut cone knife. 
I found two other Cutco knives, but they were totally roached. Uh, and then all these uh, Swiss chisels. I listed those at 30 bucks each. Uh, I think I listed that at like 50 bucks and this is 130 and then this little trench lighter. Put the flint in there. Let me show you. Let's see if I do it one handed. Let's see, you put the flint in there. Uh, and then you pull. You pull. Come on, little guy. Yeah, so this goes back a little. Oh, no, hold on, Let's see. Let's see. Wow, got to get it in the camera. Let's see, it goes back like that. Down. And we'll light it. So you fuel it right there. Uh, and it's got that little, like, cap, helmet, it's kind of cool, Proctor's, not worth much, but, it says Rockter's, and I thought it was like a misprint, but it's actually Proctor's products, for some weird reason this thing says uh, Rockter's products, but they all say that, so I thought it was like a misprint, but, kind of cool. So there's that. That's kind of the fun things I'll show you there. Um, I did find these on a nice pick that I did the other day. Uh, it was one the other day. It was like a couple, two, two months ago. It's these, a ton of them. They're um, sail making needles. It's like a three sided needle. Okay. Three sided needle. I got two packages of them right here. I gotta list those two. Uh, there's a package of them right here. It doesn't have the label on it, but those are in good shape. So I might sell those at like a trade show. Same thing with these ones. And then I sold one on package of them for uh, 54 or something like that. So here's the listing right there. And I found all these ones. other two 19 20 so 20 at you know roughly 50 bucks each i got them priced at like 80 or 79 i'm taking offers at 50 something so not bad not bad uh in my eyes not bad uh little bottles bottles bottles